brand new episode of Get Inspired with Jason, the podcast and YouTube show. Today, we're talking COVID. And you're saying, what? I'm sick of COVID. So am I. Every time we get on the television, every time we're looking up things online, it's negative, negative, negative. How many people are passing away? All the negative effects. Why don't we talk about the positive? What are the positive things that COVID-19, aka coronavirus, has done to people during this pandemic? Pandemic. I couldn't have thought of a better positive, happy person than my guest that I'm going to introduce you right now. He goes by the name of Dennis Pastorito. He is a TV host and journalist. You may know him from FusiTube. You may know him from LA TV, interviewing stars such as the Kardashians, the Jonas Brothers, and the list goes on. I welcome you, the one and only Dennis Pastorito. Como estamos, brother? Hey, what's up, Jason? How are you? Muy bien. Very good. Thank you. You look spiffy, man. I showered just for you, honey. <laughs> just for me. I can smell you from right here. Hold on. Good, good. Damn, what are you wearing? <laughs> Aqua, the, Aqua the Geo? <laughs> yeah, and I have a little bit of like this apple scented body lotion too. Oh my goodness. I can't get enough of it's myself. Cold. Is it is it one of those antibacterial ones, I'm assuming? No, 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 no. It's actual body lotion. It's, it's got oh. a nice little, you know. Like a floral, not a floral, but a fruity sense to it, Fre sense to it. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, even though I can't smell it, the audience can't smell it, whether they're watching us or hearing us, just know that Dennis Pastorito is looking and smelling amazing. And for Dang. only four ninety five, you can get him. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, All right, so Dennis, you know, me and you have chatted quite a bit. You know, people may or may not know you that follow me for many years. You obviously right. have done a lot of positive things in your life, you know, coming from the East Coast as well, like, uh, uh, like myself, and you've really made a name for yourself in the industry by being not only a very personable person and being an awesome host, but a really inspiring person. So you and I decided to do this particular topic on, on COVID because like many people in this world, we're sick of the negative. So why don't we break down, uh, uh, you send me a few notes and I wanna yeah. share it and I'll start it off by saying, number one, let's talk about how awesome it is that people are connecting with their families and friends more than they have in the many past years. Let's talk about that a little bit, that's amazing right there. Well, I mean, people are stuck at home. So obviously, you know, some people are living by themselves or they have a roommate. They can't travel as much or they don't want to travel because of all the different health concerns. Yeah. So I think uh, people are definitely connecting more visually with each other, whereas text has always been a big thing since uh, cell, phone sales, uh, cell phone sales have boomed. Now uh, apps like Zoom, Facebook, Instagram, they've really expanded their software to be able to have no, uh, numerous people in a chat at once so that people can connect. And, uh, you know, I've used, as you've seen over the months, people not only have one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations, but they also have sometimes Zoom parties. Last month was Gay Pride, so some people did little kikis uh, online. So there, there's a, a whole different, you know, you can do all sorts of thematic uh, video chats through these apps. Absolutely. I mean, there's really no excuse anymore. I mean, for all you know, people that are watching this right now, you don't know if I'm in my, I'm in my, eh, I'm in my underwear or if you're in your underwear. They really don't know. <laughs> we can just- I would like to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, I, for myself, I have chatted with family members I haven't spoken to in years. Or right. like you said, I mean, we're having quote unquote parties from home and we're all Zooming at the same time, connecting with yeah. family, friends. So, you know, at the end of the day, we can focus on the negative, but no, let's focus on the positive. I'm, I feel even with you, particularly you and like four other my friends that, you know, even when I lived in Los Angeles, yeah, we would talk, but notice how you and I communicate more on the phone now than before. Well, of course, we have more time. I mean, the, yeah. the whole world is pretty much shut down. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And, you know, as time goes on, what people need to realize is nothing will ever go back to 100% normal. But if anything, when we get back close to it, 
we're even more connected with our peers, our family. And it reminds you, what are the most important things in life besides being happy, besides being healthy, your friends, your family, right? Right. And you know, I think a lot of people are concerned that once things go slightly back to normal um, and things start to reopen as they have in some places, that some of that connection will like, you know, won't exist as much anymore. But if anything, hopefully people will keep in contact. And I think just a little bit of proof of that was, you know, when things started to slightly reopen, you know, me and my relatives, you know, we, we have a, a chat group over WhatsApp and <laughs> there was one weekend where like only three of us connected versus 10 of us. So, I mean, that was just a perfect example, but I will say this, this was the first time in my entire lifetime that that side of the family had really done anything like that. So regardless, I thought it was something very positive. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So let's talk about the next thing. Uh, how about cooking at home, all right? And I've noticed, since a lot of people are posting about this, people are like, oh my God, I'm cooking at home. I'm becoming a chef. I mean, there's people that were God knows working different random jobs or even like high end jobs that say they lost their job. They're now becoming AKA chefs aka personal trainers never trained someone in their life wow so trying to make ends meet which i i respect that i commend that right but we got to be careful on who we hire for these things but nonetheless notice how a lot of people are cooking at home and i would say 50 percent are getting in awesome shape but the other half they're just comfort eating they're gaining that quarantine 15 and more so let's talk about that what's your take on that well, I mean, at least for me, you know, with just the lack of work and with the economy being so up in the air for me and for so many other people, not only in this country, but around the world, you know, we we're really penny pinching whenever we eat. Uh, could, you know, we think twice about eating out and we definitely know that we can save some more money by eating in and, you know, definitely looking at the brands, the prices, you know, going from more name brands to supermarket brands, which are sometimes a bit more affordable. I will say though that for the first time or one of the first times in my life, because I have uh, cooked for certain periods of time at home for you know like a number of months, um, this is one of the times where I think I have truly like been more conscientious of what I'm putting in my body, how I'm preparing it and, and meal prepping, you know, and just seeing how much I can save and how much I can actually do in the kitchen on my own without having to rely on, you know, the prepared meal section of a supermarket or a restaurant. I'm just like, oh my goodness, Lord knows <laughs> how much money I could have saved by just having cooked all these years. Absolutely. No, I completely agree. I mean, even it, it, I was just telling one of my clients the other day, six pounds, which to a lot of people may not seem like a lot, those creeped up on me probably right after my birthday in March. And I was like, I like to work, you know, fitted clothes. And I'm right. like, damn, did my booty look get bigger? Did it look, does it look better? But then I started saying, wait a minute, it's because I filled them up so nicely because uh, I was eating more right. than I should have. And, you know, I'm used to living in LA and shooting what a TV shows or God knows Instagram videos for companies that I have to promote. And I'm used to having a certain standard on the way I look, the way I project, et cetera, because what people fail to realize, you know, social media, or even let's talk about reality television, that's only one eighth of who we truly are. You're seeing the best speed reel, right? Come on, you know it and I know it. Like, right. I tell people all the time, sure, if I flex my stomach right now, you're going to see abs. But if I'm relaxed, right. just kicking back watching TV, you're going to see a baby roll. And that's my uh, skin. And I'm, and I'm okay with that. All right? Okay. But, but no, uh, uh, I, I find it so amazing. On a positive note, the people that are really cultivating this particular time that are getting in the best shape of their life. Some people, right. like you said, what was it before you said somebody – in 90 days, they showed when yeah. the quarantine started. Now they they look awesome. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Yeah. One gentleman I saw online, you know, he showed his before and after results. And he was like, you know, I wasn't going to let this quarantine let get the best of me physically right. or something to that effect. And I was just really impressed by it. You know, being here at home, I've realized that versus when everything was open, I don't move as much. 
uh, I have an app on my cell phone that tells me how many steps I take per day. And I think the minimum that they recommend is about 10,000 steps, I believe. Yeah. And so I would always meet that minimum or even surpass it. There are days, there were days where I wouldn't even get to one step. It wouldn't record one step. I know that I was, you know, walking <laughs> a bit, but you just can't compare the amount of steps that you're taking in your household versus yeah. when you're out and about. Totally. People don't realize how active they really are, whether it's going to the grocery store, right? Whether it's walking to work, walking to your car, 90% of physical, physical activity has been put at a halt, right? Yeah. For, the, for the right reasons. So even, sure. with, even with me, when I caught those six pounds, I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? All right. Well, I'm buying comfort food. I haven't bought Cheez-Its since God knows 2003, I found okay. myself with a big old box of white cheddar cheeses. I said, oh, Jason, what you doing with yourself? I said, it's the fat boy in you coming out, bitch. <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You know, as reports have shown, comfort foods uh, or sales in comfort foods have gone up during the pandemic, during these months. People, um, people's diets yeah. uh, and lifestyles have changed, as we've said. Alcohol and sales. <laughs> alcohol sales have also gone up yep. and so cereals like sales of cereals have gone up and so has milk and wow. i think people are just kicking it back to what to their childhood you know like you know just that yummy food that you would start the day with and not gonna lie i mean you know all that that sugar rush is gonna make you feel good as well so <laughs> you know if yeah. you're stuck at home and you're a little sad why yeah. not cheer up with a little um kid cereal yeah you know it's funny i was talking to this lady that just signed up with me um, for the, the program you did, the Mind Right Body Type Program, 12-week uh, body transformation, mental uh, transformation. And she was telling me, she's like, you know, I, I, you know, she's got overall good body. She's 50 years old. She's like, I just have this stomach. I have this. She's like, what can I do to change? I said, look, just start eating less, right? Because you have a good base. So my message to her, which kind of implies to this, this uh, interview as well as a story, is when you become comfortable, right, you kind of become complacent in all areas. It's like, all right, I don't look too bad. So, you know, I don't really have to go strict on my quote unquote diet, right? Um, same thing goes for your food, right? Mm -hmm. So it's easy to have the Cheez-Its laying around. It's easy to just eat that extra piece of pizza because we're saying, well, I'm not really going to bars anymore. I'm not really going to restaurants. Uh, right. especially if you're single, you know, I don't have uh -huh. to impress anyone. Right. And that's where we go wrong. Use this opportunity to not only mentally get in great shape, but physically. So by the time we're done with it and you may say, well, Jason, when, when is this going to be done? Your guess is as good as mine, but right. why not use this opportunity to enrich your mind, enrich your body, enrich your pockets right? Sure. I saw this story the other day, this kid that was working at um, Arby's, 19 years old. They, they cut his hours so much that he started this little app that tells people uh, what has curbside, you know, whatever, uh, uh, delivery and all this stuff. The kid it made over $200,000 in the past few months. I said, this is brilliant, right? Gosh, that's crazy. I'm surprised nobody already made that app. Yeah, and, and I and I think he started it locally in Ohio and or not Ohio, it was uh, Omaha, like a random state, like and it goes to show, like we say in Spanish, el que quiere puede, the one that wants it can and shall obtain it. Sure. Don't get comfort comfortable with the food. Don't get comfortable with or like I said, complacent with how yeah. we look. A lot of times you ever notice those people that have a pretty good looking face and eh, they're kind of chubby right? Yeah. But they still, hey, people still find them attractive, more power to them. Those are the hardest people to physically change and transform. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they know, hey, you know what? I got a pretty good body. I don't need to like work out. A lot of people that weren't blessed with, I uh, say, the best genes, those people, they want it so bad. They get in such good shape that I even get jealous. I'm like, damn, I'm not kidding. Right. I worked with right. this guy. His name was Elliot many years ago. And he had the worst, I mean, the worst acne. And he'll tell you, I mean, it was bad. But he did everything he could to cure it. And still he had it. He's like, you know what, Jason, I may have all this, but I promise you 
when I'm done with your program, I'm going to get in the best shape. No joke. This guy went from having a size. He was a little heavier than you. He was like 150, 60 pounds, but he's short. Five foot two. This guy got an eight pack in less than a year. Wow. And I was like, damn. And now do you think people care about his face? They said, no, give me some of those abdominales, baby. I know. <laughs> so anyways, it goes to show guys think more positive. Don't get comfortable. Now, I know, but those girl style cookies were so good, Jason. Hi, the me. Don't get me started. <laughs> Don't get me started. So to wrap up today, what, what would you say, like the message, you know, and again, it's such a blessing to have you on the show because again, you. you're very humble. You, a lot of people, I always tell, I was telling my friend the other day, I was even telling uh, my mom, I was like, a lot of times people get shocked when they meet me in person. They're like, wow, you're so nice. Like, yeah, like a lot, I meet a lot of people that do what you do or in the industry and they're just dicks. And I'm like, well, that's their insecurities because they feel entitled. You're sure. one of the few people that I've met in the industry that not only is humble, but you have a lot of bragging rights that if you wanted to be cocky, you could, but you choose not to. And kindness goes a lot further. Like I always tell people, if you were to pass away tomorrow, God forbid, how, how are people going to remember your legacy? Is it because how, how much money you had or how much of a dick you were or how you made them feel, right? Sure. Right? Thank so what's, what's three things to wrap up the show that you can let people in an inspirational note leave the show with to keep going and not let the negativity get to them? Well, you know, everybody, as you know, everybody's body is different. Everybody's mind is different. What works for one person might not work for another. Yeah. And just realize that it's very important to think about work, to think about your food and your diet, but also think about your mental health. And I know that's something that uh, a lot of people have been coping with throughout this quarantine, throughout the pandemic. So um, it's okay to ask for help, to reach out to a friend, um, to read inspiring things. Like there's so much bad going on right now in the world. You might as well do something that'll uplift you spiritually and mentally as well. So yes. that's one for sure. Yeah. Um, two, you know, give yourself a day off. I mean, and that's something that I've realized as well. Just because you're in the house doesn't mean that you're not busy. I mean, I've definitely kept busy while here, whether it's organizing, cleaning, doing taxes, cooking. I've become working out, much. working yeah. out. Flex working those out. guns. Show them those caliente guns. Come on. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I've become a housewife pretty much. So, you know, don't forget to just take a breather. You know, last night I had my little movie night in and I had some popcorn. I had some popcorn and I watched Back to the Future. It was just so nice kind of let go and remember that I also have a life. And mm, number three, I would say don't give up on love. I mean, you know, we have mm -hmm. the technology at hand. Yeah. There are so many possibilities to find someone. People have gotten married in drive through or drive-in weddings. That's crazy. Um, and they've connected on, yeah, I know it is crazy. So, um, you know, even in times of quarantine, I've, I've heard about people hooking up, which I think is a little risky, but there, there's, there's a lot of love to be spread. Damn, a lot of love and a lot of diseases out there that could be spread, right? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you'll keep six feet apart and you'll do it via Zoom. It's so funny. I, I, I've been wanting to do this. Maybe we'll, I'm going to have you for this particular episode, but I would like to break down a lot of stories regarding love, dating, you know, relationships. You know, think about it. Before this pandemic, you know, you meet somebody. It's like, hey, when was the last time you got tested for HIV, chlamydia? Yeah. The list go, goes on. But now I was talking to this gentleman not too long ago. Because I talked to a lot of people and he's like, man, I was going to have this girl over, yada, yada. And, and, but I didn't, I chickened out. And I was like, why? He's like, well, she, she sent me her test results oh. for all oh. STDs, but she wouldn't send me her COVID. I said, oh, hell. Oh. I well, said, oh, hey. hell. Okay. It's a sign of the times. Just saying. So now we have to be, it's not saying live your life paranoid, but the truth no. is, and you know this, Somebody can actually get tested today for COVID, go out next 24 hours, catch it, and they test positive, right? Health is wealth. You Health know that. is wealth. And, 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 you know, 
ultimately we have to realize, because I've had a few people in my life that have been infected and, you know, okay. knock on wood, they are alive. They're doing well. And, but also actually uh, my girlfriend's friend passed away two weeks ago, right. 30 years old. Okay. Let's not get into it. My point right. is this just like anything and or anyone affects everything and everyone differently, right? Same thing yeah. with a diet. What works for one does not work for the next. Yeah. All we can do is do the best we can while we can. So when we come out of this, we can look back and be like, you know what? I'm more conscious about everything I do. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When I go to the supermarket, I'm so careful picking up things, touching myself. Aren't you? Oh my gosh, totally. I'm yeah. like, I disinfect everything when I get home, but you know, to each his own, because I have a friend that says that, that it's physically and spiritually draining, so she's not doing that anymore, but <laughs> I don't know. You know, everybody, yeah. what works for one, what doesn't work for the other. A hundred percent, but eat, like that's what I'm saying. If this were to end tomorrow, I learned so many things to be more, you know, attentive at for. Yeah, and grateful for it too. Absolutely. And it's same thing, even talking to my family more in Spain, little yeah. things that you're like, you know, you get, we get caught up as individuals, life gets busy, but yeah. this has taught us so many things. And I'm just really happy we got this to do this more positive side of sure. the COVID-19. So I want to thank you again for being part of the show. Uh, we're probably going to bring you back for that love in quarantine uh or covid okay. <laughs> episode Perfect. uh i want everybody to make sure i'm going to put uh dennis's info and the captions below as well follow dennis at dennis pastorito for not only really amazing content because this guy is creative funny and of course he's got a great body if you uh single men uh are interested uh i'm putting him out there yes i'm blast woman <laughs> sorry he is officially gay and he is okay. proud. And, yeah. uh, you know, you have a lot of fans in this world, but hopefully people that are not aware of you are now going to follow your amazing, amazing success. But most importantly, your fun, kind humor, because you, my friend, are true inspiration. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you for, so much for having me and, and follow me so that we can connect more online. Right. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, ask us questions. Feel free to take a screenshot of this particular episode. Tag Dennis and I. We will answer your questions. And as always, mind right, body tight. Stay inspired. Have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.